Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is God said, remove your sin away from me. Stop doing things you shouldn't be doing. You know, some things that we're doing, God is upset. He wants you to stop sinning. You know, some of you that's watching me, you still sinning. You need to let it go. You know, if that relationship is not meant to be, let it go and give it to God. Because I'm going to tell you, you don't want to be in a relationship with somebody where you have to keep sinning. I know how I feel. Some of you have been in a relationship with somebody, you got to keep sinning, then you got to keep apologizing. And then you like, Lord, I'm trying to do right, but I don't know what to do because this person keep wanting to have sex with me. This person keep wanting to do wrong. Listen to me. The Bible words I want to read to you is 1 John 1 and 9, and it reads, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us sin and to clean us from all unrighteousness. When you confess your sins to the Lord, he will forgive you for everything that you have done. All you have to do is say, Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus that you forgive me for everything that I have done that was wrong. You have to give yourself to God and allow God to help you to move forward and trust in his plan for your life. Don't waste your time with someone that wants you to keep sinning over and over. And you know in your heart, you're like, Lord, I'm trying to do right, but this person keep allowing me to sin. Listen, nobody can make you do something that you don't want to do. All you just have to say is, look, I can't do this and let them know. I can't do this. This is in the will of God, and this is interfering with my relationship with God. You have to let people know, I cannot sin. I cannot do this because God is not pleasing. God don't want nobody to sin. God said, be married or be burned. You got to tell that person, I love God more than I love you. I can't continue to sin. I can't continue to do wrong because guess what? God is getting mad. God is getting upset. So you have to do whatever you need to do. Repent, turn away from that old sin, and say, Lord, forgive me, for I have fallen short. And you want to make sure that you is in the hands of Jesus. So whatever's going on in your life, you need to repent and let it go. And say, Lord, help me to keep my legs shut. Help me to wait until I'm married, and God will show you. So continue to keep your head up, be strong, and repent. Confess your sins to the Lord and God will take care of you. Don't give up. Pray about all things. I just want to say to everyone, you know, give yourself to God and God will bring the right person in your life that is for you and not fighting against you. So keep your eyes on God and watch what God do for you. God will bring you a man. He will bring you a woman that will love you unconditionally. You don't have to be in a relationship where you have to pick God or the devil. Because the person will understand you. And let me tell you this. That's why when you first start dating, you need to let people know straight up. I'm not having sex with you until I'm married. You need to let people know that. Don't wait until you get into the relationship. And then you, you, you know, you taking your clothes off. And then you're like, oh, I can't do this. Listen, get yourself together. Get your priorities together. Stay in holiness. Holiness is still right. You don't have to rush into the bedroom. Allow God. To help you and show you the right way to live your life. Holiness is still right. So I just want to say to you, continue to be encouraged. Stay focused. Give yourself to God and allow God to touch you. And God will. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Have a great, beautiful day. Don't give up. Pray about all things. Stay blessed and thank you for watching. God bless you.